Gummy metals are often soft, things like copper, aluminum, iron, and alloys of these materials that have a low impurity content. Cutting in soft metals is actually more difficult than cutting a metal that's been hardened. What we're exploring here are some unique ways to take advantage of something that we call the mechanochemical effect in cutting or in deforming soft metals. By applying certain media to the surfaces of these soft metals, we're able to create a condition where the metals behave as if they've been hardened. The right kind of material and uh, media, which seems to be characterized by good sticking to the surface, either physical sticking or by a chemical reaction, those media seem to have the best effect uh, in terms of force reductions, improved cut surfaces, machine surfaces, and so on. And there is a whole host of media that work. They are very commonplace. When we started applying the various media, we found that we could broadly classify this media into three different groups. The first group, they work across all metal systems that we tested. All of them showed a force drop of around 50%. The second class, uh, they were very material specific. They would work only with a specific metal and they wouldn't work with another metals. And the third group, they did not work with any metal whatsoever. Slowly we began to discover that it's not any particular chemical that is making a difference, but it's the nature of these agents to stick to the metal surface. And so what this does is it reduces the strain required for the cutting process. And as a direct result of that, the energy dissipation that occurs during cutting is reduced. And this understanding came about mainly because of our ability to image the material flow process in situ. Uh, that is while the cutting is going on, while the deformation is going on, and we can do this at high spatial resolution, and of course we can also do it at high time resolution because we are doing high speed imaging. Uh, what we want to see is this work move from the lab to a commercial application. And the excitement for the manufacturer is they can finally do something in a way that makes their processes more stable and ultimately reduces cost.